You've done all the hard work to generate a beautiful blog post, and now it's time for you to generate a blog post cover or images. And if you've used AI image generation tools in the past, it can be subpar, especially when it comes to generating images with text that's perfect for a blog post cover. So in today's video, I'll be going over some of my favorite tools and I'll be showing you a custom tool that I've been using that I personally think is the best when it comes to blog post cover images. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the prompt. And if you guys want this, I can put this in a document and link it in the description below today's video. All we have to do is enter the blog post title, of the blog post in which we're creating. Let's say, for example, we wrote an article about the best running shoes for men of 2025. So this would be the topic in which we're writing about. And we can also make that the title itself. So we can either have a different topic or a different title. For this example, I'm just going to use the same. So I'm going to copy this over. And first, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my tool in which I've been creating. The first tool in which I'll be using is my own custom tool. It's image.wordrocket.ai. If you'd like to access this tool, just head over to the link. It'll be in the description below today's video. And you have five free credits. If you want more credits, just send me an email and I will give you free credits just for some feedback in return. There's a couple different ways in which you can generate a blog post cover image. So we have the text with image, which specifically creates text with images. We have the social media template and then we have the blog post template. Now I'm working on just creating a blog post cover template, but for now we can test out the text with image. So first what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the prompt in which we're using, and then we're going to enter the main text again, which is best running shoes for men in this section here, because it actually works better when you enter the text separately. We can change up the text style, the text placement and all those things but I'm going to leave that for now. The only thing I'm going to change is the model. I'm going to use the best model, but both of these models work pretty well. And we're going to keep it to landscape. We're going to leave it to photographic, which is realistic photographic style. And we're going to click generate image. Now, while that's being done, I've used replicate to find some other models in which we can test. If you haven't used replicate before, essentially it makes it very easy for you to explore different models. So for example, we have flux 1.1 pro ultra. So again, I'm going to enter in the same prompt and we're going to change the aspect ratio and we're going to run this and we're going to compare the output quality in which we're getting back. We also have the model from stability AI or stable diffusion. So I'm also going to test out that model. We're going to use one of their highest models, which is stable diffusion three. Again, we're going to paste in that prompt. We're going to change the aspect ratio and we're going to run this. Here is the blog post image in which we get back from my own custom tool, image.wordrocket.ai, best running shoes for men 2025. We have a pair of shoes. We have some rocks in the back. It looks like a running path. Um, I think it looks really, really good. It's kind of earthy. It's very, very clean. And you can simply download this image. It will save all of your resolution. As you can see here, it's a beautiful image and perfect for a blog post cover. Now let's go ahead and see the generations that we got back from the previous models. So this is what we got back from Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, which is one of the best models from Flux. The image is decent, best running runners or running shoes for men. As you can see, the text is distorted. It doesn't really make any sense. The image is actually not bad. I like the image, but if the text was much better, then this would be a way, way better image. This is what we got back from Stability Stable Diffusion 3. We get a nice pair of shoes, but again, we don't get any text on this image. And that's the most difficult part when it comes to AI image generation is getting the text on the actual image. I'm also going to use mid journey to generate an image. If you haven't used mid journey before, you have to essentially um, log in through discord. I think they do now have it that you can log in through their web app and you can enter your prompt and you'll be able to then create um, custom images using mid journey. So mid journey is set to be one of the better models as well. So let's again compare. But for now, I would definitely say Okay, here's what we get back from mid journey. Um, there's a couple of different ones in which we can choose from. Let's just do the most simple one, which is U1. So we're gonna upscale number one and see what it looks like. So it's still loading up. Here it is. So this is a nice image, but again, it actually went ahead and included the prompt, but it messed up the, the text. And I know for a fact these images here with a lot of text, those images are going to be very, very distorted. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So it's actually went ahead and included that prompt. So we probably have to just improve the prompt for mid journey. But overall, as you can see, we're not really able to get that nice, clean text with the image that's going to be suitable for a blog post cover. So for now, and 
maybe being a little bit biased, I would definitely have to choose my tool over all of these other tools when it comes to specifically generating um, blog post cover images. Now, as I mentioned before, there's a lot more other templates to, in which you can choose from. This is one of our clients in which we work with. And I want to show you guys the blog post images and cover images in which we were able to generate. So as you can see, these are beautiful images like and these are all generated using AI specifically image.wordrocket.ai. So these are beautiful. They look very, very custom made and they look realistic, right? Um, another thing in which you can do is another template in which you can use is you can actually go ahead and let's see if you've already written an article. Let me try to find a good article here. Let's say I've written an article. I can go ahead and I can copy over that information from that article. I can head over to image.wordrocket.ai. We can paste in our content here, change the aspect ratio, choose how many images in which we like. You can select the magic prompt to be on or off, whatever you like. That's totally up to you. And then we're going to generate prompts. And what the AI is going to do, it's going to take that information generate prompts and then from those prompts it will generate images that are custom based upon your specific um your your specific blog post as you can see here it's taking that information now we're going to go ahead and we're going to generate images so again really really cool to use it really speeds up your workflow so depending on the model that you choose it will take about maybe 15 to 30 seconds to generate these images if you do use the first model it is much faster um, but again, you can test this out for yourselves, even though the model two is more expensive, it's all included for one price. One credit is one image. So I think it's very, very, um, affordable in terms of pricing because these API calls are very expensive because we're using a very, um, a higher model, but here are the images in which you can expect. So this is really nice. Um, again, this is a really nice image as well. And this is an operating room. So there are going to be a little bit of distortions here and there. That is just the nature of um, AI images. But if I go through my history, you can see some of the images in which I've generated. I've been able to generate some really awesome images. So this is a, a story like image that's perfect for reels. Beautiful image, beautiful text. Again, another variation, beautiful image, beautiful text, right? So here's another um, blog post cover in which I was able to generate. So if you wanna generate much, much more higher quality images, and you care about how your images look in your blog post, I definitely recommend trying out this tool. And again, if you use it, send me an email and I will actually add some free credit for you. So that's my video. That's my comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you try it, image rocket for yourselves, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.